Hi everybody, welcome to Maria's Ideas, teaches us to paint. If you're back for another visit, thank you so much. I love teaching others and inspiring others to paint. This is a volunteer show that we do with my co-host and my co-producer, Alan Levine of Alan Levine the Talking Machine. We film this each month at our studio in the south side slopes of Pittsburgh, PA, Jono's Art Studio and Maria's Ideas. So we are going to get started. I designed this as um, just a little tribute to our park that we love so much in Pittsburgh, PNC Park, and everyone loves baseball around here. So let's get started. This is the video just to teach you how to draw. If you do not get the art kit, which we do sell locally, they're $24 and it includes everything you need. But um, if you want to just provide draw materials, that's fine too. So look for the episode eight with the same name and uh, to watch the show. So this is what we're going to paint. It's the ball flying out of the park and the uh, hint of our beautiful city in the background. The city is pretty simple. We're keeping that basic. It's all about the uh, baseball here. And um, if you are ever in the Pittsburgh area, this is our studio. A lot of people say, oh, I drive by that colorful place all the time and they don't know uh, what's in there. So anyway, that's our studio. So we're open uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays 11 till five, Thursdays noon until six and the first Saturday of each month. And then during the holidays, we have extended hours as well. So let's get started. This is our finished product. So what I'm going to show you is how to draw this just basic line drawing. And then it's like a paint by number without the numbers, I would say. And um, so we are using a 11 by 14 canvas panel. It's not a stretched canvas. You can certainly use a stretched canvas. You can use a different size if you'd like also and just adapt the um, portions of everything. So what we did, I, we taped the design. You can also print it out uh, if you'd like from just the, the photo in the, uh, the front of the video. You should be able to save that and print it. But um, we taped it on when we do our show. I'm just going to lay it here. And then I found this in my house. It's the top of an old uh, vintage little sewing machine or something and that's where you'd put the little pin cushion so that was the perfect size you could use a lid or a plate or a anything that you find that's, that's the size you can the ball could be a little bit smaller or larger too and then just trace around we also have the graphite paper underneath which um, this is the graphite paper it comes in white and the graphite and you put that underneath and it transfers the design. If you don't have that, you can, uh, uh, you know, you can rub pencil on the back of the design. This is if you print it out, but this video is so you don't have to worry about doing that. You can just draw it freehand and that's what we're going to do. So we are going to place this on the canvas. I'm using a watercolor pencil. Whenever you draw the design, if you use a regular graphite pencil, that's fine. Just try to keep it a little lighter so that the graphite lines don't show through. And you can see there's my baseball. You don't want them to show through your paint. Some paints are more translucent than others. And so what we're going to do is come in and I have it lightly sketched here already, but I'm going to enhance this so you can see it really well. So once you put the ball in place, there's my little Heinz pickle here. You gotta follow the pickle. See my little pickle? Isn't that cute? Okay, so here's the ball, and then we purposely kept this on a diagonal just to make it a little more interesting. And I would say about one inch from the left side of the canvas. You could put a little mark and then about one, two, about three inches up here. You can take a ruler, you can just draw this freehand. I'm just going to draw this like this. This is paint, this is art. We can clean things up and fix things as we paint it as well. This is just a little guide so that when you're painting you know where everything is in proportion to uh, the baseball. And so that's the uh, wall, the top of the wall. And then we're going to come in and about, I'd say about a half an inch, just do another line, parallel line, and then it gets a little narrower as it goes up. Okay, so that's there. And then we are coming in about one, two, a little more than two inches. We're gonna draw this the triangle here, okay? 
And then we are coming in with our lines that represent the where the guys run on the field. So we're going to put another line here. And leave a little bit of space here and we'll put this. That's where home plate would be. And then we'll just connect that. And then from this point, we're going to come down and also parallel. Get a little bit wider. I got a little bit, made it a little bit wider here. And let's see, then we'll come in. This is a mm, little bit to the right of halfway point. And then we are going to leave a little gap. Come here like this. And then the little diagonal line, come back over down and then over like this. Okay. It's a pretty basic. Again, if it's a little different than mine, that's fine. That's okay. This is just to give you an idea of where everything would be. And let's see. So let's start up here. This would be in the stands showing the picture. So we're doing that and then a few of the buildings in the background, the clouds, the birds, all of the detail, that all gets done as you paint. So I'm going to come over one, about one and a half inches and draw a vertical line, about a half an inch, and then bring that over to the edge of the canvas, and then come up on an angle like this, and then come back over, and then we'll bring this more to the left, angle that to the left, and go off of the canvas like this. And we have our light. I actually painted a second one in the, when I did the original for our show, you can put one or two lights. Now the buildings, again, you can do them a little larger or smaller if you wanted to do them in proportion to what we have here. I'm going to start somewhere, I'm going to start in the center. I'm just kind of getting an idea here. This is about my center. You can certainly measure if you choose, but I usually just kind of just give a rough eye there. So if I do this here, I come up about one inch, do a little little rectangle, and then come off of the sides and then down. That's the building that's about in the center. From there, we come over, up, little like a little peak, and that is our beautiful PPG building. And again, we're not doing everything with too much detail. We're just putting in a little something that indicates the buildings. And you can see I'm just basically just doing some rectangles. Okay. So you can just, that's about a half inch, that's about another inch, little points. And just that was to the right of this building in the center. And then I'll come off of this one. And I'm just going to come down like this. Now these lines are vertical. These tend to slant a little bit just because of the way we are painting this. As it comes out, it's a little wider here in the front because this ball is up front. And that's it. Everything else we will do, as you can see, we will do all of the details, the seams, the, the sky, the, the variation of the colors here, the uh, details in the, the crowd, the field, the little people. We have a fun way of painting those little people too. So watch episode eight, and this is called Out of the Park. And then our next episode, episode nine for September, we are going to paint a beautiful fall scene and I call this nature walk. So this will be episode nine. And we do have special guests on the show. I like to promote local people and businesses that are doing really good things and positive things in the area. September, uh, we're not gonna have a special guest. Sometimes we like to just keep the show with myself and Alan because this one is going to be a little bit more involved and I want to make sure we have enough time to get that done. But I think we have like nine guests for the year, nine or ten guests throughout the year. And uh, so anyway, check us out, Maria's Ideas Art on YouTube, Facebook, Maria's Ideas Teaches Us to Paint, my website, mariasideas.com, and our studio is in Pittsburgh. You're welcome to stop by. 
and um, check out our other here's my logo here our other uh, episodes also and you you can also see those if you're in Bethel Park on Verizon 32 Comcast 7 in certain areas and then BPTV's YouTube channel as well all right ciao